Okay, so this is going to be a build overview of the Nova 235 frame, and I've done review videos on all of this stuff here, so if you're curious about more details on these parts, click the cards in the corner here for all those videos. But let me just tell you what's going to go in here. Uh, obviously we got the Nova 235 frame, and I'm going to be putting in this HGLRC stack here. Uh, this is the F460 Titan, and this one happens to include the uh, video transmitter. It's a half size board here and uh, by the way this video here for this build is going to be all parts from Amazon so uh, Fox here and HGLRC are sponsoring this video they have new um, stores open like with parts and stuff on the Amazon store so if you want to buy things if you're in the US that is uh, and buy things from the US store on Amazon you can get all these parts there and those all those links will be to the Amazon store for these parts um, uh, back to the yeah the parts here. So we got the stack. So basically, that's uh, the F460 is going to be your uh, 4 in 1 AC, your flight controller, and your video transmitter. And getting that in here is going to be interesting. We'll talk about that here in a second. Uh, I'm going to be using these uh, motors here on 6S, uh, these 2207, 1775 KV motors. And I redid a video on this where I upgraded the uh, Batman 220 with these motors. Very, very nice motors. I like. I actually like these motors. Very smooth. And then the camera that's going to go in here is going to be the uh, Foxy or Falcor camera. And this is a full-size camera, which will be perfect for this frame because it takes a it takes a full-size camera. That'll work out perfect. Um, now let me talk about getting a stack in here because you've got a very limited amount of space. 20 millimeters of height space here. So there's a screw that goes through this middle section here. It's actually the screw right there. It goes into that standoff. And if we're going to get two boards in here, we're gonna, I'm probably not going to use that, that, that spacer there. So you can see, I'm going to have to get a little bit creative on how I'm going to stack two boards in there. I'm probably going to use a nylon screw, like a long one, and then uh, probably some O-rings and uh, some other spacers just to minimize the distance between uh, the different stacks because if you use these uh, standard spacers here it's, it's probably not going to fit so that's the, the probably the most challenging thing about this build is getting those two boards in the center part and then the uh, video transmitter is uh, also 30 by 30 this is just going to go into the back side here and see there's a section in the back where this will go nicely off obviously on the other side but you can see the holes line up perfect so the video transmitter will end up going in here somewhere Probably right in the front, right behind the standoff here. And then I'll probably put my receiver around here somewhere like that, or possibly in the front. And obviously the camera goes here, motors go there. Uh, the rest of it's a bunch of soldering, which I I don't really uh, show too much of that on camera because uh, that's pretty boring. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I will try and get these two boards in here first, and then I'll talk about how I got that in there. I think that's probably the only thing that's going to be complicated about this build. Everything else ought to be pretty easy. Just getting the stack correctly in here uh, so the, is it because of the limited amount of space. So go ahead and do that and we'll be at, I'll be right back and we'll show you what I did. Okay, so I think I got this little stack puzzle figured out. Uh, in order to get this to work, you're going to need these long screws here. Uh, this is a M3 by 25 millimeter screw that I have. I have a bunch of them just from other projects. and. You see that it's going to give you a stack height about that high. You know, let me just show you that. It's going to be fine for the height. You'll have plenty of clearance for your battery strap. And uh, you also need this part here. This is a, whoops. And you're also going to need this part here. This is an M3 spacer. I think it's a one millimeter spacer. So those are going to go right here. So I'm going to put four of those on. And it's going to look like that. Need a little bit of extra space there so that the ESC doesn't <laughs> short on, on these press fit, press fit nuts here. Just uh, need a little bit of extra space there. And then this board here, the current sensor is going to be in the upside because a motor ones over here and then uh, you should also have these little rubber dampeners put those in the M4 holes and you'll have some M3 holes after that and also deal with the vibration then you're going to slide your EC over the top like that and then you should have about that much space there you can see 
Yeah, it doesn't look like the ESC is in any danger of getting shorted out. Yeah, so that's what the stack looks like at that point. And then between the ESC and the flight controller, I'm just going to put this. This is just an M3 nut, standard nut. I'm going to put that on. And you don't want to tighten it down too tight, otherwise you kind of defeat the purpose of the dampening. Okay, so once you have all the nuts on, it should look like that. Then you'll have space for your flight controller. Just slide that on. Of course, you want to connect up your wiring loom here as well. And then you'll have that amount of space between the ESC and the flight controller. And then you just put some nuts on here to hold it down. Of course, don't over tighten it. And, and you'll have that vib nice vibration dampening. It should be. Uh, keep things off in check in terms of motor vibrations and then you can see here that we have plenty of space now for the battery strap to go through Oops, go in this area here between the uh, flight controller and the top plate so that's how I am uh, putting my stack together obviously uh, if you don't have the same exact parts you might have to be a little more creative but you want to, your goal is to get it about this height here about as low as possible Obviously, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. Uh, you just have to get creative with what kind of parts you have. And this is how I put mine together. So that's pretty much the hardest part, I think, figuring out this little puzzle. The rest of it's just soldering on your receiver, your battery lead. Standard build stuff, nothing too fancy there. Not a big deal. And uh, go ahead, I'll start soldering all this stuff up. I'm going to put my video transfer back here, and we'll come back and I'll show you uh, pretty much the most of the build being done at that point. So I'll have the motor soldered on as well. Okay, so I just wanted to show you the wiring that I did here. It's fairly straightforward. You got a little lead here that's going to go to the camera. Obviously, you got uh, camera, uh, if it's video, negative and positive, five volts here. Uh, this is TX3 here. That's going. That's smart audio. That's I'm going to set up smart audio. It's going to go to the RX here on the video transmitter, which is uh, the blue blue line right there, white pin right there. Yellow is video from the uh, going to the video transmitter. And that's it's these pads over here. It's video, and then uh, you have your uh, negative here, and then your uh, red wire positive. That's actually battery power. And you can see here the video transfer takes 7 to 26 volts. Uh, obviously, you got your XT60 soldered onto the battery leads here, and then I soldered on a wire to the capacitor, and then this wire is going to this these pads here for battery plus and minus for the capacitor. Uh, have already put some solder here for my receiver, 5 volts, negative, and S plus. Probably going to use an XM plus receiver. And that's pretty much it for the wiring. It's, it's all laid out very, it's very straightforward here. Nothing really too fancy. And then I just got to solder on my motor wires, obviously, and mount them. Uh, that's pretty much it. I put the XT60 off here to the side, because I'm going to have a zip tie to the standoff here. And it's going to be sticking off off to the side. Just uh, zip tied to the standoff so it's not going to get into the props. And I'll have the uh, battery plug into that so um, little, uh, obviously I'm going to put my MMCX test and adapter here that's uh, pretty much it mount my camera and uh, uh, I'll be back with the motors mounted and the top on and we'll see what this looks like uh, also I'll pretty much finish that point okay so yeah I'm pretty much done with this uh, build now uh, as you can see I've mounted the motors and soldered on the wires to the EC Put the top on, I put a battery strap in here, and I zip tied the uh, XT60 here to the standoff, so should be out of the way of the props. The only thing I've left to do is uh, add a receiver, I haven't done that yet, uh, so I'll take the top back off again and put that on, and then add the uh, the antenna, so I'm going to be putting on this uh, Fox here lollipop antenna, and this is the adapter that came with the video transmitter. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to be doing with the antenna. If I'm just going to zip tie it to the back here or use the hole. Probably not going to use the hole. Going to, I want to uh, find an angle here. So I'm going to be looking, probably looking for some 3D printed parts and uh, put it on this back, back two standoffs here and have the antenna it's going to come out of the back kind of like, like this at an angle. That's what I'm looking to do. But I have to go search for that. I haven't done that yet. Uh, but for the most part, this build is done. And uh, let me just go ahead and give you weight weight measurement. So 
That's, my guess is going to be close to 350. Yeah, it's about 330. And then uh, we got to include the prop nuts. So we're at 333.7. And then we got to throw in some props. Three forty seven, three forty six point nine, three forty seven, and then throw in the antenna. And yeah, so now we're at three fifty nine. So that's what's going to weigh without the battery. So that's about what I thought it was going to weigh. Anyway, it's going to do for this uh, build video. I'll have the flight demo and another video separately at some point pretty soon, probably within about a week or so. So stay tuned for that video if you want to see this guy in action.